What's up everybody, it's your boy Showtime Doctor. So, I tried out that Brown Dust game yesterday. Had a lot of fun by the way in the chat, shout out to everyone that was out there. I actually liked it more than I thought I would. I thought I was just gonna mess with it and then it was gonna be JRPG-ish, etc. But I'll make a separate video about my complete thoughts on the game, but this video is actually gonna be your guide to re-rolling re-rolling as fast as possible and as efficiently as possible because the devs have made it uh, pretty capable here. So when you get in the game after you're done downloading and setting up your ID and all that, just click past all this stuff. There's going to be a bunch of it. And then it's going to give this loading thing. So okay, first thing you're going to want to do, get out of the screen. There's no tutorial that you have to sit through, so come over here to the gear. You only have to do this once, by the way. Turn off quest pop-up, boss zoom in will save you some time too, and then, you know, I'm not a fan of the music per se. So you do that, and then come over here to your mailbox. It's gonna have a bunch of stuff, hit get all immediately, so you can get all this crap. And the only other stuff you're gonna wanna do is get these five star random mercenaries, so. It's gonna give you something random, you never, sometimes it'll be really good, sometimes it won't be super good. Uh, in this case, Veronia is actually one of the better supports in the game, etc. Now come over here to Permanent tab. And these are going to give you some 4 stars. So if you don't get a tank off your 5 stars, you can use Rini. She's pretty good. And then it's going to give you a random 4 star here. So Alki's actually pretty badass. Alki does this like line damage. but Anyway, so once you do that, you're going to come down here to the Shop tab, which is right here. Come to Recruit. And you are going to go to Chance Up right here, and you have a bunch of free summons, as you can see here at 30. You're going to come down here and summon multiple times. Just skip. Anyone that's a 4-star, you can take a look and see if you like their stats. If you're lucky enough to get a 5-star, you know, congratulations there. So, Britain. I'll tell you, Britain. if you get Britain, he's a better tank than the starting tank, because Britain can freeze an entire line, so Britain's actually pretty awesome. Uh, Viola, who I didn't click on, she's, uh, I, I forget exactly what her role was. I know she's DPS, but I forget if she's, like, more debuff or damager, but... Anyways, we'll kind of go over it here, so... Did your 30 summons. Now, if you don't have a team that you're satisfied with, personally, that team I'll be perfectly fine with with what I have to do, but if you don't have a team, you also have up to... You have, you have some free chances over here, basically. Actually, it's one day. You can come check it out. If you don't get anything, you don't get anything. Now, this is going to have to be your start starting lineup for your team. So what you're going to want to do for the reroll process, come over here to Campaign. They have the Eclipse. Storyline, in my opinion, is kind of meh, so it's up to you. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to at least Stage 2-5. Now, you might get screwed by RNG, which I'll explain later, and you might have to go to Stage like 2-7 or even 2-2-10. But most of the time, you can make it to 2-5, and you're, you're aiming for 600 crystals. That's what you need to get what you need to uh, facilitate the reroll process. Now, when you come in here, this is your first stage. If you want to read the story, great. You know, I've seen it a million times, so I'm going to skip. Uh, if you did the gear thing, like I told you earlier, it's not going to pop up too many tutorial messages, but it'll still pop up some of them. So just skip it, skip it. Go to deploy. Now you're deploy. These are the total points you can deploy with right here. So at the beginning, it's 150. It'll Every time you level, it's going to increase that. And these units all over here have a certain number of points. So that is going to add to... You see now I'm at 30 of 150, etc. So you guys get that mechanic. Now, what you are going to want to do for your party is... If you can get a good tank in the front, get a good tank in the front, like a 5-star tank... Now, set up your supports. Don't put anyone right behind the tank. I usually just put them in the middle. Set up your support to be in between your DPS or like your great debuffer or something like that. And then if you have some DPS, try to put your DPS right next to your support. The mechanics are the support takes his turn and he usually buffs who are either whoever's next to him or it'll be like random, someone randomly. So, And then if you want to read the skills, the skills are up here, so... Viola, like I said, she blocks people from using skills, and she does uh, dot damage every turn, 3% max life, so, you know, some solid DPS there. Now, that's all the points I really have for now. Eventually, once you get towards where I said, around 2.5, I think you have about 180, so you can add more units, and eventually you're going to be able to fill this board out. But for now, just set up your team and hit start battle. Now, the battle plays out much like Ogre Battle, or Ogre Tactics. 
for you guys that were around that remember that game. So you set up your units and hopefully they do what you want them to do. Come over here and hit the times two so you can get combat done faster. I'm only going to go through one combat uh, just to show you guys how it is. But you can go through to two five. Uh, you can probably get there within 15, 15 to 20 minutes depending on how fast your team is at clearing. So you got the, uh, the tracer pose there. <laughs> this is how the rewards work. Now hopefully you're three starring the stages because every time you three star a stage you get a little bit more crystals uh the currency i've seen a couple people ask me what the currency is it says like uh event currency that's actually currency to buy uh well i have to show you guys it won't make sense if i just say it so but it, essentially you're going to do that until you get to two five right now the way that you get 600 crystals this is how you do it and pay attention to this because it's three different things you come over here to this quest girl she's going to have a bunch of quests and you're gonna hit you know get reward and you're gonna do it until it says like stage two five etc she's gonna do campaign stuff now when you get this scroll you see how it says warrior scroll and there's gonna be another one i think it's a defender scroll those are classes in the game after you're done with one two actually don't even come here until you get to two five first of all but after you do all that you'll come in here she'll give you the warrior scroll and it'll say go for the next quest so it'll automatically take you to the shop which is right here and you come over here to class and then warriors right here there's they're also going to give you a defender scroll later so for the quest you literally draw a warrior make sure you don't blow that before the quest or else you're going to be screwed and that's going to give you uh crystals and hopefully a good character etc now once you are done with that that's where you're going to get the majority of your crystals right here you can also come over here to missions and there's going to be a certain amount of crystals like right here and then you come to achievements and you can get all these crystals right here now that should put you if you're lucky right around the high 400s in crystals so what you're going to want to do from that point you go to your book and ignore the legend screen because these are the rarest units in this in this game for those of you that play epic 7 these are like the ml units basically they're called octos so you're going to go down to your character draws so you see here right here, Alki, you go to growth, you hit it, you hit it rather. And then right there, it's like 10 crystals. And then as you upgrade them, eventually you'll get more crystals, but you're going to do that for every character that you own, you own. So this is where the RNG can come in. Cause if you didn't get like a lot of five stars and four stars, and it's going to be less crystals. So you just come down and do that. You can clear all the tabs. And eventually once you're done, that should, well, not this tab, special tab, but supported a warrior. Uh, you're going to, you should have 600 crystals by that point. If you don't have 600 crystals, if you got screwed by RNG, just go run an, another stage or two. Uh, if you get to two seven, I believe that's where the next quest is over here. So eventually you're going to have 600 crystals. Now, what you do from that point, you come over here to the shop and then you go to the diamond shop, which is right here. You buy one of these legend scrolls. These are for the best units in the game, 600 now you can get three of these a week so keep that in mind because this is where you can get most of your really badass units now once you do that you have to actually go back to your mailbox and pick up the scrolls so make sure you do that it's also going to give you 30, 300 000 gold which is nice and then at that point this is where your reroll is going to make you or break you now you're going to go to recruit again and you're going to come down here to legend this is where all the legendary units are, are recruited from so uh, the currency that I was talking about earlier, by the way, this is the currency. You need 1,500 of it, and you get a selection ticket for whichever Octo, or if you want one of the Devil units, whichever one you want. Now, you're going to hit this right here, Mercenary times 10, and it's going to give you randomly 3 to 5 stars. Now, your chances of getting an Octo are super rare. It's like 0.2%, I want to say it is. Um, and there is a chance, even if you get a 5-star unit, because they're all 5-star units, there's a chance it's going to be a non-Octo 5-star unit. So, but every Octo in the game is super good and every Octo in the game is super strong. Now, I'm going to go into later, I'm going to try to make two more videos on this topic. Um, which characters to roll for, which characters people seem to like. There's kind of a difference between characters that are really useful early and late game. But, uh, you know, I'm still learning exactly who's who, etc, etc. So, but that's pretty much your reroll process, guys. Now, if you got any questions, let me know in the YouTube. I think I pretty much covered everything. Oh, actually, there's one thing I forgot to cover. Now, let's say you do your reroll and you hate it. You didn't get what you want, etc. Okay, come up here to the gear. And then just go to reset data. 
you hit reset data, it's going to ask you for a number code. Just click this, type in the code with the digits here, hit OK here in the lower right corner, and then come hit OK again right here once you get the digits right, and it's going to reset your account. Accounts can be remade every three minutes. The cool part about the reroll process in this game, you can immediately, you get all your data back. Uh, you can select your name again. You just got to click through all the crap again. And it resets your account exactly like I showed you at the beginning. And then you just go and run up to 2.5 again. And you can get this done 15, 20 minutes if you're doing it fast. You know, if you have uh, emulators, you can do multiple instances. You know how that all works. So... And that's pretty much it, guys. So, And then once you get an account that you like, you can link it if you wish. Uh, some people are having issues linking, but that's something I'll talk about in another time. But there you go, guys. So that's your reroll process. So if you're interested in this game, I was actually... I was surprised. It was it was a lot more tactical than I thought. So that's kind of... I like tactical games. I also played Langris or M for anyone who's watching this video for the first time. Really good uh, tactical game. But anyhow, that's enough of me. So, yo... Showtime Doctor, Showtime DR, you found my YouTube, hit a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. I just saw myself on the screen, like I'm all like high and mighty. Uh, also, you can check the title info, there's a link to my Twitch, link to my Discord, should be self-explanatory what those do. And you know, I'll catch you guys later on, so have a great day, peace.